Now let's talk about the conditioner because I used to have to use tons of conditioner and I don't have to use hardly any anymore after using the clarifying shampoo, the co-wash, and then I can really tailor the conditioner and not have to use half a bottle. So I'd love to hear more about that. Yeah, so the conditioner is um, very, very rich. Um, one of the things, one of the reasons why I wanted a conditioner that was like super rich is because I have very fine hair. I also have color treated hair. Um, but one of the things I like is I want to make sure that um, after I wash my hair, I'm getting like, I love like a heavy cream. Like, you know, when you think about like facial creams and you can get like a lotion versus a cream, like this conditioner feels more like a conditioner cream to me. And what I feel like I will use this and just like pack it onto my hair in the shower, mid shafts down, because I don't want, I don't want to use it so that it gets too heavy because some people, you know, like me that have really fine hair, I have to be careful of, you know, using anything that's going to weigh my hair down too much. But this, like, I feel like I just like put it on my strands and like leave it on there and make it like a nice little treatment in the shower too. And then I'll rinse it off. But it is very, very rich. And so it's, it's like a really good one. I feel like I've got a nice added layer of protection. And I feel like it's going to also help, you know, the next step of like detangling your hair before you dry your hair. So I love that. And that's exactly the experience I've had with it. I start at the bottom and I just pack it into the ends right to like the nape of my neck. Uh, and squeeze it, it in. Like, yeah. yeah. And then it comes out so easily. So and easy. I never feel like I've got like weighed down hair, you know, because I don't have to work it up into the top because the coat wash gives me so much moisture. So that's awesome. And um, what, how would you describe the smell? Um, it smells like orange, mostly to me. There's orange, Sweet a, little orange. Bit, a little bit of vanilla, yeah, a little bit of neroli. So it's, ah, yes. yeah, it's sweet. It's definitely yeah. sweet, but it feels very comforting. It does. It, I almost feel like a, like a spiciness to it. It's not spicy, but it's warm. warm. Whereas the, yes. the shampoos, I feel like, are more, like, a little bit more, like, bright citrus. But this is, yeah. like, a sweet, warm citrus. Right. It's so beautiful together. I love how my hair smells. But it's it's never... I washed my hair this morning, by the way. It's never <laughs> overpowering, but I always feel like it's just like very subtle and feminine and like just comfortable. You know, I'm not like, whoa, there's a lot of perfume. It's just essential oils and really lightweight. So I Actually, love that. The, the inspiration for the scent for this was um, of a creamsicle. So it's like creamy orange little hint of vanilla. So it's very comforting and it feels very, um, yeah, nurturing, I guess. Nurturing. And I love the uh, inspiration of a creamsicle because that was always what I would buy with the ice cream truck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my first choice. I love a creamsicle. In fact, that was actually one of my very first scents with Bote Nouveau. It was a sweet orange with vanilla. Oh, was, I love like that scent. I loved it. That so is good. a beautiful product, and I have that in my shower, too. <laughs> I love that. So that's the conditioner. So that is a nice lead into. Tell us now about the leave-in conditioner, and how do you use that in conjunction with the conditioner or by itself? Like, what's your best practice?